Hi, my name is Ms. Boucher and I'm going to walk you through creating an interactive timeline using Smart Notebook software. Uh, the, a couple things that you'll need to know first is your toolbar up here at the top. This is where you'll add your lines and your shapes. And then you have another toolbar over here to the, mine is on the right, yours may be on the left, but your tools are going to look the same. This first one here is your page sorter tab. So when you need to see what pages are where, this is you can click right here and you'll get a list of your pages. The second tab here is called the gallery tab and this is where you can find clip art images to use in your timeline. Properties tab, this is where you'll change the colors of your lines and things like that. That's pretty much all we'll need to, um, we'll need to use. I'm going to come back over here to my page sorter tab and the first thing that you'll need to do to get ready for your interactive timeline is to go ahead and make the pages that you're going to need. Um, I know Miss Harvey has told you that you'll need five events um, before and five events after. You'll also need a page for your actual timeline. So I'm going to come down here to the very bottom of my page and I'm going to click this um, page with a green plus sign. You also have it up here at the very top of your page and I'm just going to click that until I have the correct number of pages I'm going to need for my timeline over here in my page sorter tab. So I'm thinking I'm going to need 11 pages. And then just to make things easy, in my page sorter I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to name these pages. So page 1, and all I did was I double clicked on where it says the date. Page 1 is going to be my actual timeline. And just to keep things simple, page 2 will be event 1, event 2, and yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to go through all of them. But um, So to, to rename your pages, you just double click right there. Also, if I click auto hide, anytime I click on the page, all of my toolbars that are open over here are going to disappear. If I uncheck that, I still have full view of my page, but my page sorter tab over here is going to remain open. That's a preference thing. Um, so let's go ahead and create our line. Our line tool up here, I just click on this and I have some different line options. I would just recommend going for the straight line. and We're going to draw it over. And then up at the top of my page, I'm going to go ahead and do a small line. Um, this, these are going to be my um, event markers on my timeline. Notice that you still have the crosshairs. So when you're ready to start moving your lines around, you need to go back up to the top of the, your toolbar and click your select tool and that will let us select. Because I don't want to continue to have to copy and paste this one line to bring it down, Smart Notebook has a tool called the Infinite Cloner, and that lets me just continuously copy and paste um, from this one. So I'm going to click on that line, and I'm going to use my drop down arrow right here. And Infinite Cloner is about halfway down. So I'm going to infinitely clone this one um, line here. So now I can just click and drag and bring it continually to bring lines down onto my page. Now I don't know about you but I like to make th sure things are nice, neat, and even. So you can see that I have purple lines showing up as I move and drag to show that things are on the same line, the same level. That's this tool right here called the Show Hide Alignment. If you don't have that on your toolbar but you want it, you can put your cursor anywhere in this gray bar right here and right click with your mouse and that's going to bring up um, a customized toolbar and if you scroll down show hide alignment is right here to add that to your toolbar, toolbar you click it and you drag it up where you want it to go um, and then just release it. I've already added it so um, we're good there so I have my timeline here, and I know this is not complete, um, but just for um, showing purposes. Now I need to, um, I can either link straight from these lines, or I can 
put some kind of cool clip art on there to um, to clip on. I'm just going to search a star. This one's pretty cool. So I'm just going to click and drag that onto the page. I am going to auto hide that. And then I'm going to make it small enough to fit on my timeline. And then I'm going to drag it up over top. The way that Smart Notebook works is the last thing that you put on the page is what's on top. So you want to put your clip art on last. And I can um, infinitely clone this so that I can just drag this over to all of my lines here. But I want to be able to link from here, so I need to actually take that infinite clone off when I'm done. To do that, I just click on the, on the object that's infinitely cloned, and I'm going to click that clone icon and just take that off. And I can do that same thing up here to my line to get rid of that when I'm done. I just click delete. So you would already have all of your events, all, all of these pages already filled in. So now what I need to do is I need to link from each one of these images to the event that I want to describe. Linking is very easy. I'm going to click on the object that I want to link. Let's say this is event one. When I get uh, my dotted box around it, I'm going to use the drop down menu here and I'm going to link. Now I'm not going to link it to a web page. I want to link it to a page that's in my notebook presentation. So I'm going to use my drop down menu and I'm going to choose page in this file. When I do that, I can link it to the next page, the first page, the previous page, yada, yada, yada. But I also have a list of pages that I have added here. This is where naming your pages is going to come in very handy because you'll know that you want to link to event one. So I can just click on event one. We're going to link from the object rather than having it put a little icon at the bottom corner and then insert link. So now, you see when I hover my mouse over this image I have a little pointer finger rather than my select tool that tells me that this has been hyperlinked so when I click it it's gonna take me to event one now I wanna make sure it's easy to get back to my timeline so on all of my pages I need to put some kind of back button down in the corner to make it easy for the viewers to get back to the timeline if you go back to your gallery and you search for the word back, if you go down here to pictures, your first picture is a back icon. So I'm going to drag that onto the page, click on it again to make sure it is selected, use my drop down arrow, we're going to link it. Again, I need to change from web page to page in this file and I always want to link my back button to that first page, that timeline. I'm going to change it to the um, object, insert link. I did it correctly because I have the uh, pointer finger. So when I click here, ooh, it didn't take me back to my timeline. Where did my timeline go? Did it completely disappear? I'm going to pause this recording. Hold on just a second. So apparently when I was creating this, the timeline got created on page four, but I've fixed all of that now. So um, when I click on my um, back button, it's going to take me back to my timeline. So that's um, hyperlinking. And it apparently took away my link there. So let's look at hyperlinking one more time. I'm going to highlight my object, use my drop down menu to link, change web page to page in the file choose the page that I want to link it to, change it to object, and insert link. As in all things technology, make sure that you save often and um, make sure that you test all of these links before you turn it in. I know that Miss Harvey has given you the opportunity or the option to bring in a flash drive for pictures. To add pictures, I'm not sure if you can see my toolbar up at the top in this screencast, but you're going to click on the insert 
um, option in the toolbar and then you're going to insert a picture from your um, it'll bring up the dialog box and you would just um, navigate to your drive what, or your flash drive or wherever your pictures are stored and you'll pull pictures from there. Good luck, I'll be there to help and have a great time.